Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and this is my channel, Who's Your Handmade? Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is a really fun one. I am collaborating with an amazing sewist. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will consider subscribing if you have not done so already. I would love to welcome you into the sewing community. Thank you so much to each one of my friends who are tuning in again today. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with me. It means so much to me. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Have you made any of the patterns that I'm going to feature in this video? Or have you seen this fabric before? So I am collaborating with an amazing sewist today. This is my first official collaboration with another person doing kind of the same thing. Uh, I am collaborating today with the amazing Katinka from The Seamstress at the Cottage. I'm going to pop some pictures up of her channel if you are not following her please do head over to her channel after this video and check out all her amazing videos she has such a kindness about her you pick that up in every single video that she makes a kindness of spirit she is so talented my goodness you guys she is a legit seamstress <laughs> like she sews for clients for other people so following her journey journey uh, on YouTube has been so much fun for me. I have been following her since the beginning and she reached out recently and asked if I would like to do a collaboration with her and I was so honored. I was floored. Oh my goodness, it's such an honor to do this collaboration with you, Katinka. So what sparked the uh, inspiration for this collaboration is this fabric right here. I showed this fabric in uh, a recent video of mine. I'm showing you the scraps because this is all I have left of it. This is a beautiful cotton jersey, um, some kind of cotton blend knit. It does have quite a bit of stretch, but it also wrinkles a lot. Uh, so I purchased this piece of fabric from Hobby Lobby in May of 2022. I found it in their clearance section for $4 a yard. I purchased two and a half yards of this and I have made several garments. I've got them all lined up right here to show you. So I featured this fabric in a make that I made for my little girl. Her name is Addie and I love to sew for her. She's two and a half. And I featured um, a make with this fabric recently. Katinka also has this fabric and that's what inspired her to reach out to me and to see if we could make something together with this fabric. So I have no idea what Katinka's making when I'm filming this. <laughs> so I'm going to be just as surprised as you are. I cannot wait to see what she makes out of this fabric. As I said, she's an amazing sewist and I cannot wait to check out her video. So for my portion of the collaboration today, I want to feature how I took this one kind of fabric, beautiful cotton jersey kind of knit fabric, and made four different outfits. Four, you guys. <laughs> I got four outfits out of two and a half yards of fabric. Now, Given three of those are for my little girl and one of them is for me, but my purpose in showing this to you all is to show you how versatile one piece of fabric can be, especially when you have some cotton in your fabric type. So I'm going to show you uh, each one of those makes that I've made with this beautiful fabric. I'll walk you through the patterns and the sizes that I made, and hopefully it'll spark some inspiration for you that if you have some fabric sticking around in your stash. If it seems like you've had it for a while, you've made something with it, but it's just not leaving your stash, which kind of happened with this one. I made something with it and then it just kept growing. I kept having more and more of it around. You really can branch out into different types of garments and make the most out of this fabric. So let's get into the makes. So the first thing that I made with this beautiful fabric was a sleep romper for my little girl last year. I made this last June, so June of 2022. 
I made this sweet little romper. It is using this pattern right here that is Simplicity 9282. I did View B there, the one the little girl is wearing, and then that line drawing right there. Super fun pattern. If you have this one in your stash, give it a try. I've also made the little dress. That was really fun as well. It features those lapped uh, front, the front there is lapped. Like a lot of children's clothing will be, and it's easy. Do not let that intimidate you. These instructions are amazing. This was a great pattern. So I made her the size large last year. Super cozy. It's cool fabric. She wore it all summer long, uh, and it does feature a lot of snaps. So on one version of this, I use snap tape, but on this one, I actually went in and made snaps for um, this entire this entire length here. These are the snaps that I love to use. These are the open ring snaps. I actually just talked about snaps in my last Friday Sew. So if you want to go back to that video and see what my favorite type of snaps to use are right now, I will link it up above and down below. This is the lapped front and back. Again, really easy. Ooh, turned out so cute. So this fabric was perfect for this make for Addie. The next make out of this fabric was the one that sparked this collaboration. <laughs> this is the little dress that I featured in my video that Katinka saw. This is the Peekaboo Patterns Dakota Dolman dress. Y'all, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love this pattern so much. I have made it uh, several times now. I talk about it a lot. Love this pattern, love this little dress, so super easy. It is a free pattern if you have the code to use on the Peekaboo Patterns website. You either join their newsletter to get that code or you join their Facebook group. Well worth it, they have a lot of free patterns and this one is a great one. So for this dress, I have one pattern piece for the front, one for the back and one for the neckband. So super easy, couldn't get much easier than that. Love this sweet little dress, especially made with this cool breezy fabric for the summer for Addie. So those were the two makes that I had already done before Katinka uh, contacted me. After I had made even those two makes, I still had a lot left of this, this fabric. It just kept growing. So I knew that I had enough to make at least two more garments out of, and I did get two more garments out of them. I wanted to make something for myself, and I will show you that in just a second. But the last thing that I managed to get for Addie out of this fabric is a cute little Hey June handmade monkey bar skirt. So this is a free pattern from Hey June handmade. I will link it down below just like I will with all these other patterns. Uh, so go check out this really cute skirt pattern. It's actually a skirt. Let me show you the little shorts underneath there. Really great pattern. Uh, the, I will say two things about this pattern. Number one, the instructions come in the form of a blog. So they're in a blog, they're on the website, and you have to like read through them that it's fine because it's free. Uh, I would prefer to have my instructions in a PDF format like most other uh, patterns are, but it's fine. It's free. You know, you get what you pay for it <laughs> and you can make do. The other thing to um, kind of caution you about on this pattern is the sizing is very strange. So my little girl is two and a half. I usually make anything from a 2T to a 3T in size for her. And for this pattern, I actually make her the size four. So check the measurements of your pattern pieces and compare them to the measurements of your little one and just make sure that your sizing is correct because it's a little strange on this one but I love this little skirt it shows you how versatile this fabric is you guys again that cotton content is great for a bottom piece um, and Addie is gonna have so much fun wearing this this summer so the last make that I made with this gorgeous fabric is one for myself now I have had to do some color blocking because what I had left um, from this fabric was not enough to get my size of pattern pieces on, but it turned out so well, it was just meant to be. So this is a gorgeous shirt that I made from the Ellie and Mac Discovery Tee pattern. 
that pattern is made to be color blocked and it worked just perfectly with this beautiful shirt. I need more shirts in my in my wardrobe. I would wear dresses all the time but there's occasions where I need uh, shirts for my jean skirts so I'm really excited to add this one to my wardrobe. It fits me so well. I make a size 2x in Ellie and Mac and they fit really really good. The shoulders fit really good. Uh, the length is really good. Just a great pattern overall. Get you this pattern if you don't have it already. If you love the color blocking look, this is the pattern for you. It is set up for that color blocking aspect. Now I did hack the sleeves on this pattern. I took the sleeve pattern piece, which they want you to cut on the fold, and I opened it up. So I created a new pattern piece, fully opened, and then I slashed and spread that to kind of hack it into a flutter sleeve. Now looking back, I needed to flutter it <laughs> a little bit more. I really could have used a little bit more room um, to get a more fluttery effect. If you want to try a hacked flutter sleeve yourself, I will link down below the tutorial that I use for hacking a uh, flutter sleeve. Diana does a great job with that tutorial. Go give it a watch if you like a flutter sleeve. I do love how it turned out. There's plenty of room. It's comfortable. I just want to, I want a little more flutter. <laughs> so on my next versions, I'll be fluttering the sleeve even more, but I'm super, super pleased with this beautiful shirt. The contrast fabric is a Walmart bundle. One of those mystery Walmart bundles. I'm telling you guys, those have not let me down. What can I say? I don't know what the fabric content is. I'm sure there's polyester, but it is a great fabric to use um, in contrast with these little, these little accents within that beautiful cotton fabric. So I am so pleased with how this one turned out. Okay, that's my four makes from one piece of fabric. <laughs> I am so pleased. Y'all, I use that fabric to the last. This is what I have left. And you know, I, pr I could probably color block something for Addie with what's left of this so I'm keeping it it's going into my scrap pile but I think I did pretty good four garments out of two and a half yards I think I did all right so I'm so excited to see Katinka's make I'm so looking forward to her reveal video after watching mine here do go give Katinka a follow subscribe to her channel and watch her videos you will fall in love with her she is such a sweetheart if you're coming over from Katinka's channel welcome Thank you so much for coming over to Nose Around, my channel. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I would love to add you to the sewing community. And that's going to do it for this very first collaboration of mine. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.